In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and load schematics to your Minecraft worlds using Lightmatica. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find some schematics to actually download. You guys can go ahead and use websites such as Planet Minecraft in order to find some. So let's go ahead and select on it just like so. And let's find a schematic that we want to go ahead and actually use. So for this video, I'm going to be keeping it simple and I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Uh, it is like up a bunch of buildings and stuff like that. Definitely great for like a city build. All right, all we got to do is now is got to press on download Minecraft map, then just wait for the file to actually download. It should take around five seconds, so please be patient and be sure to not press on any advertisements. All right, all you want to do is you want to press on continue to download and yep, here it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this file to my desktop. All right, now I did drag it to my desktop just for clarity purposes because I personally feel like this is just better for the tutorial. All right, all you want to do is you want to right click on it, then you want to go ahead and press on extract to. So just press on that, then just wait for it a little bit. You'll then get a folder that looks like this. It will have the same name, but obviously the icon will look slightly different. So all you gotta do now is you gotta go ahead and double click on it, double click on it one more time. And essentially you wanna keep on going until you find a .lightmatica file. So make sure that the file does end in a .lightmatica file. So this one actually does work. So you just wanna keep on scrolling over here, look through all the different folders. You may have to go ahead and return, but the point is as long as you find the lightmatica folder, you are good to go. From here, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected, then go over here to the installations tab. And now we need to go ahead and actually put it inside of our schematics folder. Now, because we're trying to do this on Lightmatica, we need to go ahead and actually open up the fabric loader or whatever like mod loader you did use for uh, Lightmatica. So me, I use fabric. So we need to go ahead and press on open installations folder. Then we're going to get a bunch of folders that do look like this. And all we need to do now is we need to go ahead and scroll down until we see the folder that actually does say schematic. So, yep, it is right over here. So go ahead and press on that. And as you're able to tell, it is currently empty. So now all we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the Lightmatica file inside of our schematics folder like so. All right, there you go. Then you want to go ahead and close out of it, close out of it, go back to the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and press on play. Make sure that fabric loader or whatever mod loader you did use to actually play Lightmatica is actually selected. Then go ahead and press on play. Okay, guys, so here we are in Lightmatica. And as you're able to tell, I actually did do this previously. So, so you want to go ahead and select on the option that does say schematic placement, which is mode uh, two out of nine. All right, once we're done with that, all we got to do is we got to go ahead and press on N, then press on load schematics. And yep, here it is. This is the schematic that we did just download. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on load schematic. And if we did everything correctly, there you go. You should be able to see the schematic right over here. And it is legit the building that we did see in the image. And obviously, you guys can go ahead and adjust it to your liking. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.